The other hospitalists at St. John's, my primary site, are a really diverse group of people. You know, we haven't had a hospitalist service around for too long. It's been three years. And it's been really fun to see the kind of people that we attract. Uh, they're from all different backgrounds. Some of them have been family doctors. Other, others have done a lot of international medicine, um, a lot of internal medicine doctors. Uh, it's really neat to meet people at the beginning of their career, the middle of their career, and the end of their career who are all excited about this new field of hospitalist medicine and part of developing a program. I mean, we have changed and improved the hospitalist service at, on sort of a constant basis since I started working here. And it's, it's fun to be part of that sort of dynamic team that looks at problems and tries to solve them, and if, if the solution doesn't work, try something different. The thing that, that keeps the people that I think are great here is that we're totally as connected to the patient and the community around us as we possibly can be. That our work doesn't exist in, in some you know, abstract land somewhere where we're just counting relative value units and DRGs, but everybody that I run into throughout the day is thinking about how do I improve care for this patient? How do we improve outcomes for this community? How do we be more valuable and more effective? And that's what I trained for years and years to do, and it's nice to be able to focus on that. And I think a lot of other people in healthcare have that same feeling. I mean, we could have gone and done something that didn't include do no harm, but I feel like our organization is still very driven by that idea of first doing no harm.